Roll with my protection. Who gon' die next? Ain't trying to get elected. Riding by myself. Time for some reflection. Like, besides her, I don't need anybody else or anybody in general to control my relationship. Or try to put me on to somebody else if I'm really Gucci with who I am. Nah, I be hating when it's like a female, like. Like, you ever, like, realize how you've been single and, like, nobody wants you? But as soon and as you get after a girl, while you get a girl, everybody As soon as you get you? a girl, every girl want to be on you. Or be like, oh, you know, I always thought you was cute. And uh, like, I was just thinking, like, maybe when, like, when can we hang out or whatever? Nigga, never. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. What? Nah, my ex, bro, from middle school, son, I'm going to fuck that little bitch up. Son, how sure he got the audacity to call me broke? Broke, right? Be your mind. I'm out here selling cane. I'm making three hundred dollars a night. Your mother still buying you clothes. Your parents still buying you shit. Plus, I got a job, so I'm making more money. I'm out here buying my own shit. My mother told me the other day to go to the mall and go buy some clothes. You know what I did? And that's the thing. He's only sixteen. He's I'm only sixteen. He's still in high school. And he's working. I already bought myself some nice sweats. I went to Adidas. I went to Models. I went to Mads. I don't even want to Polo. Cop mad clothes. I even bought myself three pairs of sneakers. I even bought a pair for my sister. Boy, I heard cries. That's the problem. Like, some females just hate on other people because of the fact that they're doing better things than them. Nah, when I went to and my middle school, behind, so my little like... girl squad was in the office coughing. When I went to go say hi to one of the um workers there, it was like, <laughs> I'm like, bitch, I'm not here for you. Watch, I'm gonna pull up to my middle school, bro, have $200 in singles, and I'm gonna throw that shit right out of her face. I'm like, bitch, I'm broke now. I'm broke. Like, you can't call me broke. She gonna crack out. Dang, you know, her friends already saw the bread I'm making, though. And it was like, damn. How you girl? How how she left you? Why she left you? I'm like, because the bitch is stupid, bro. Just because I don't, I'm not wearing name brand shit. Name brand don't really mean nothing. Wearing designer clothes don't mean nothing. You should wasting your money on expensive shit for what? Like, I'd rather save my mom bread. Uh, oh, look, because, you know, I got, I just ordered my fourth pair of Yeezys. All right, all right that's different. That's so, different. That's literally the only shoes. No, that's, yeah, that's literally the only shoes that I would spend money on. But only on retail price. I, I, no I'm matter, not paying full price for that. You bugging? No matter, even though I, want, I still want the first... 350 Yeezys before the V2 came out. Mm. I want the old 350s. I'm sorry, but I'm not spending over $800 on a pair of shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna but Even though they look nice, I'm not spending. I don't care how much money I have, I'm not spending it. Yeah, I'd rather wait until they re release it like they're doing now. Because all of them I got, they were all retail price for like $220. $220? Yeah. Damn, I thought I cop that if I wanted to. You could get the Sesame as one right now if you want. For 220? Yeah. Say less. All you gotta do is go on Yeezy Supply, East Bay, Adidas, Champs. Huh. They're selling it. I bought mine on Yeezy Supply, you know. Mm. I had to get the free pair of socks. <laughs> yeah. But, uh. Had the audacity to call me broke, shaking my head. And she's still out here wearing the same shit she had from a year ago. I, I make my own money. Like, I buy my own stuff. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be like and I even, I I even wear... Like, I don't ever go out there to buy, like, you know, all the other clothes that everybody be wearing. Like, I be wearing my own shit. If you haven't seen, I wear my own clothing brand. Forest, Forest Hills. Hills. If you guys haven't seen any yet, they're on my Snapchat and my Instagram. I'll leave that in the links below. But, uh... If you want your own merch, just follow me on Instagram, hit me up, and I got you with your size. I got men's and females. Well, I got men's, but some of the men's stuff could fit females if you haven't, you know, I mean, checked it out. The females going to be wearing men's stuff anyway, so. Yeah. I know how your females are. Y'all like the big Kobe stuff. Yeah, like, I got to be just like my boyfriend with his clothing. Yeah. So y'all can stop asking your mans for uh, his hoodies. And just cop on yourself, too. 
I could be matching together. Right. Walking outside, people be like, dang, where you get that sweater from? Yo, follow his Instagram, Forbes Hills, the official. I will be having a website for it soon. But until then, it'll be on my Instagram. But I'll leave that in the link soon below. Yeah, but, uh, name brand don't really say nothing about you. Nah. It's like the way you carry yourself and like the way you like. And that's the stuff. problem with some of these people. Like they, they want to get like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga, you know, um, um, like, off white, V line, all that. Like they only, they only doing that just to impress people. I'm but like, it's what like are you really doing like to get that. Yeah, but it's like why you gotta spend like three racks on a t shirt from Gucci? Yeah. Well, though you could get like the polo store and stuff. Like, get something cheaper. You don't need something name brand to put a title on your head. Yeah, like you don't have like we know that you could get money, but you don't have to spend all that money just to show it in front of people. Be like, oh, you know, he wearing all these clothes, and you know, woo woo, you know, this like, and that. Like, DDG, like he could flex, but, like, but he know he doing his money. My son was in college for three years, bro. Not even three. Years. He was on YouTube for three years. Started off in college. That we at now, in a bad neighborhood. In Michigan, living in LA in a penthouse, got his mama and his cousin out here with his sister. Now he got the whole squad. And, and he, he, and he her was a penthouse. And he was doing it by himself, and that's the thing. Like, I don't understand the hustle and the grind that. Plus, he, he bought himself a G Wagon, then he bought his mother a 2019 Mercedes. Like, y'all don't understand the hustle yeah. that, you know, people put towards, you know. Not only for himself, but their family. So it's like he don't have to. He didn't have to do that for his mama and stuff. He didn't have to flex for nobody. He just like, wanted to do it out of courage. Cause his mom was living in a bad house, like small, was like I think the space in the house was small, tight area. He was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna move my mom out to LA." And that's and the number cool. one thing. Like, no, like if you you doing good, that's the number one thing you want to do is like take, get your family out. Take care of your family and make sure that they're in a better spot than what, how they yeah. were before. That's mainly That's the, the job main goal. that you always want to do, especially if it's for the mom. Like, yeah. No matter, rather if you're the only child, rather if you're the only boy, girl, whoever, no matter you always want to do something to make your mom proud and happy and, you know, get her to a better spot where things that she couldn't get. Nah, but the shit that really gave me tight, like, I hear when people say, oh, you're not going to get far in life, or whatever. Now, say that YouTube joint blow you up. You had, like, three million on your head already. All the same people that was giving you doubt and everything, going to be the same one on their knees. Like, oh, bro, can you help me out? Oh, I know we was friends since middle school, high school. Now I see you grow up so big, ah, ah. You know, Where like, would you oh, before? They'd be like, oh, yo, what's up? Like, how you doing? You know, like, you going to hit me up now because you see me doing big. He ain't like, damn, bro, I was really sleeping on you. I don't mind, we could do, like, we can hang out sometime or whatever. No. They were like, oh, I know you was always going to be this good. You know, I've seen this since when we were friends all fake and all. To us. Like, you fake but then again, y'all only doing it because the fact that you see me blowing up and I'm doing great without y'all. Yeah. Meanwhile, y'all back there, you know. Just. Nah. Like Snoop said, I think he told Wiz, when you go high, your people that was behind you, no, he, I think... It was either Snoop or Kendrick Lamar, mm -hmm. one of them. He was like, when you see your peep, when you they see you going high, they want to try and join you. You can't have that because when you going high, the people that's already low, you can't go back down low with them. You got to keep staying high. If they can't catch up to you, you just got to leave them behind. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's either you leave them behind or you follow them and they're just going to bring you back down and let you go back the way how you was before. If you plan on that work, you can't be going high to then going down to then try and go high again. No, if you're going high, you they can't catch going. up to you. You got to keep going high. At the end of the day, you doing what you had to do. Dumb, they not. They just slack and they just hold him back and be like, oh, well, since he's going high, he going to have my back. Right. Nah, because at the end of the day, you're only going to have my back because of the fact that I got money. Now, what was that song with Future and like, Brady? Yeah, was that... Like, where the fuck were y'all at before? Nobody. Before all this fame and fortune. No I'm saying, fame and fortune can't really change a person, though. Like, not if you know, like, what really happened. Like, if you know the background, like, what really was going on with them, you can't say, oh, yeah, the money and fame changed you. No, you may never know what I could be going through in my childhood. 
I could have a probably a fucked up childhood and this shit probably make me happy. But I'm not gonna go around just because I got bread and shit. I'm gonna start flexing mad heavy, like nah. Fuck yeah. that. Okay. I'm gonna go back, move my family, get them out here where I'm at, make sure they Gucci, they live in good life, and I could continue to watch. But we y'all little fake ass friends and shit. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay you help me do this. Nope. When I need your help, where was you at? No. Nope. Nowhere to be found. But as soon as y'all need help, y'all want to try and call me and run to me. But yo, can you help me out with this? Or like, can you do me a favor and like hold this down? No. Nah. Nah, I'm sorry. It's a dub. Like, what? I think some song that DDG did on my own. But like, oh, when I be dead, go to my coffin, some shit like that. Like don't even like when I'm when you when I'm gone don't even try to come but yo, I miss him like we used to hang out a lot. Here's Where mine. were you when I was going through all the struggle? You was nowhere, nowhere to, be, to found. be found. You left me here on my own, struggling. But as soon as y'all need help, y'all try to hit me up, or as soon as y'all need money, y'all try to hit me up. Like, like can you like me pay all this and it's not? I'm like, pay you back. Can you buy? Can I borrow twenty bucks real quick? I need gas in my car. So, nah, because at the end of the day. If I give it to you, you're not going to give me the money back. And then mm-hmm. when I hit you up, you're going to act like, oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, like I never gave you money. Like, I ain't stupid. Don't play with my money like that. Like, I got receipts too, bro. Like. But as soon as I need something, y'all know where to be found. Y'all can't pick up a phone. Y'all can't text me back. Nothing. But y'all be mad at me if I don't answer y'all. So it's like, does that really make sense for you guys? No. But well, that's society now. Like the hell? Yeah. You can't change it. Fuck it. Right. I'm but, uh, what I gotta do. That's gonna be the end for the video for tonight. Oh. If you haven't already, subscribe to your boy. Subscribe if you know. Right? Like, come on. Join the bring, hand squad. Bring in your family, bring in your friends, you know. Bring your girlfriend too. Join the squad. Bring the whole gang with you. Gang, gang, gang. Cause you know the vibes out here. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to your boy. Hit that like button. That like button right there. That bell button too, you know. Get that notification so when my videos drop, you guys will be the first to see it. We should set a goal. I got a goal for you guys. And I got a challenge. And I believe in the Hane Squad. And I know you guys can do it. But our goal, let's get to 100 subscribers by New Year's. That's going to be my first wish in a new year for New Year's. Because you know why? I know this channel, and I know you guys will make it blow up. I mean, let's get more than 100. Let's probably get 110. Let's probably get two. Hey. I believe in you guys. This is going to be a fresh New Year. It's going to be a good year. And I know shit is going to blow up. That's your challenge to you guys. To the Haynes squad and everybody. Let's get up to the road to 100 subscribers. We're going on a trip. Yeah. Came in a rocket ship. Yeah. Through the sky. Yeah. Little mind slide. Yeah. But yeah, I know what I mean. for me? Right. So until then. To your friends, to your uncle, to your niece, your nephews. Tell your neighbors too. Like not when they don't like, yo, have you seen this dude? Yeah. Like, don't be shy. Videos? Don't be shy. Put up with somebody on the street. We're hell of a fun. We wanna make you guys laugh. We wanna make you guys have a good time. So when you guys come home from school or whatever, you had a long day, hey, watch my videos. They'll brighten your day up. Like damn. They got two niggas on the screen. Hey. One, two. two. That hey. That's tough. So until then, guys, subscribe to your boy, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. For the bad and bougie, been on flames. They say they love the sun, don't know the group name. I'm thinking of going to buy my bitch a bag.